music, 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 technology, music, technology, music, technology, technology, tech, 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 music, technology, teacher, 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 technology, teacher, tech, tech, teacher, teacher, network, net, net, teacher, network, net, net, teacher, network, network. So this first video that I'm going to post, we're going to call this video, My iPad Can Do What? These are just some really cool things that you may or may not know that your iPad is capable of, um, but pretty cool things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my iPad on here. And then if I go to the upper right hand corner of the screen and I swipe diagonally towards the bottom left hand corner, I'm going to get uh, my control center to pop up. And one of the cool features on the iPad is you can actually do screen capture. So you can, um, you know, you've been able to do screenshots, but with screen capture, you can actually make a video of what you're doing on your iPad. So again, we're going to start by swiping from the upper right hand corner towards the bottom left. The control center will pop up. And you should see a, uh, a circle uh, within a circle. And if you tap that circle, it's going to count down. And now I am recording uh, my iPad. So uh, that's the first thing that's pretty cool. So anything that you do on your iPad, um, you can, can record it and demonstrate it for your students. Um, the next thing I want to demonstrate is... Um, a pretty cool feature that's called annotate. So with annotate, you can do just a, an image capture of your screen, which you do by uh, pressing the round home button on the front of your iPad and the lock button that's on the top edge. If you uh, press those simultaneously, it'll take an image, uh, a snapshot of whatever is on your iPad screen. So let's say that you want to share an image of uh, say a music score. So I could take uh, a picture of an image from a score, press my home button and my lock button at the same time. You'll see it pop up in the bottom left-hand corner. And then from there, tap on that picture, I can adjust the corners of the image if to get rid of everything that's kind of around the edges. Now, the other thing about this that's really cool is if you'll notice on the bottom edge, that I have these tools, these highlighters and colored pencils and erasers and, and whatnot. So with this image, before I click the done button, I can annotate, meaning I can write or highlight. So say there was a part of the score that I wanted to highlight in yellow, I could tap there on the yellow and say maybe I wanted to uh, highlight this line here on this third system. So I could highlight it that way if I wanted to do some highlighting. Uh, you can always undo if you want to undo something. Um, one of the things that's cool, let's say that I wanted to add some articulation markings, say some staccatos on this third system. Well, I could use this dot and I can add but it's it's really small so this is one of the features that's really cool I can take two fingers and touch and spread out and I can zoom in on that and then on my pen tool here in black I can get some little thicker and I can get much closer to it to come in and put some dots now, if I wanted to scroll over, I've got to use two fingers. So I touch with two fingers and slide the image over. Two fingers to slide the image over. And then I could continue adding some staccato marks. So then I can take two fingers and pinch and zoom out. And now my staccato marks are there on my image. So as you start to get the hang of it, there would obviously be other things that you could do with it also. So let's say, for example, a day crescendo. So again, I can use two fingers to spread out. Oops. 
always touch with two fingers. Anytime you try to touch with one finger, you're going to draw something. So let's say I wanted to add a decrescendo under this staff. So either with the Apple Pencil or my finger, um, I could, you know, draw uh, a decrescendo like that, which is there, but a little bit sloppy. But notice down here, I have a ruler. So this ruler is really handy because I can grab this with two fingers and move it around. And if I wanted to be really precise, let's say I set my ruler at nine degrees, or let's say eight degrees. So then I can draw my line here. And the other thing is that the ruler is not gonna let me draw a crooked line. So even if I tried to like come up here, if I did that same stroke down here, it's gonna keep that line straight. Uh, you'll just have to trust me that I did that. So now, so that was eight degrees. So now I could go say eight degrees this way and adjust my ruler down. And so again, I can take my pen and with that, it's gonna give me a very straight line um, that I can draw that in. And again, I can take two fingers and zoom back out. So there's my day crescendo. Um, and then, you know, if I wanted to highlight the day crescendo, I could do that with a couple swipes. Um, but even with the highlighter, um, you know, you can highlight uh, images and things that way. So, you know, even I could go in, uh, again, use two fingers and zoom in and say here, I wanted to put a note in red that said, I'll put a little star here, say top line only. So I can draw, and that's not very neat, but kind of get the idea. So taking a screenshot of something and then being able to annotate it um, is a pretty nifty thing to do. So, and then when you're finished, you just press done in the upper left-hand corner and you can save that to your photos. And then from your photos, you can go back, if you want to share that uh, with students, uh, you could also, if you go over here to more, they kind of hide this because they don't like to know let people to know that they work together is you could actually share this to Google Classroom if you're going to share that with your students that way or upload it to Google Drive uh, if you wanted to upload it to a Google Drive and save it that way. So that's one thing that you could do. You could also say you could take, again, I use the home button and the lock button together to take that screenshot and then I'm going to move my corners here, so let's say you wanted to sign uh, a part, um, you know, for a playing test, and you just wanted to, um, you know, uh, start, let's say, from the key change and play to the end. So, you know, you could come in again with your pen and say, you know, make a mark, say from here to here. Or if you just wanted to, uh, let's say we'll use blue, you wanted to highlight the key change. Oh, it's a little dark now, and then maybe we don't want to do that. Let's try something a little lighter. So you can highlight, you know, parts of the music if you need to do that. And, um, or if there was a part, I know I showed you the, the ruler feature before. If you wanted to, say, underline something, uh, let's get back to a pencil. So you wanted to, to make a bracket here and you don't do very good at straight lines. So I can again use my ruler, bring it down here and my ruler will make sure that I draw a nice straight line. Or if I wanna make that line thicker, I can always make it thicker um, to put it in that way. So the ruler is pretty handy uh, to use. You know, another thing to think about is if you assign this for a playing test, um, you could always uh, actually write comments, you know, down at the bottom. Again, you could use two fingers to zoom in, slide over here. Uh, nice job.
keep practicing. You can write that on out. Two fingers to slide over. There we go. And then, you know, you can share that with individual students, however you want to do it. So the screen capture function is really pretty cool. And the annotation is really cool too. Uh, and then from there, like I said, after you share those things, um, you can then post them directly into using this little box in the up arrow. You can share that directly, um, you know, to Google Classroom, Google Drive, um, all kind of different things, that, ways that you could share that, um, you know, with your students. So. Um, anyway, so that's one cool little thing that uh, your iPad can do. So I hope you enjoyed this first video and keep watching. We'll be posting more in the future. Music, 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 technology, music, technology, music, technology, technology, tech, 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 music, technology, teacher, 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 teacher. Teacher, 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 music. technology, teacher, music. Tech, tech, teacher, teacher, network, net, net, teacher, network, net, net, teacher, network, network, music, technology, teacher, network, music, technology, teacher, network, music, tech, 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 t